What's going on everybody? It's Afro Think Tank and I just finished watching my man Pan-African Strikes Back impromptu live in the car to, the car crusty car Pan-Africanism and it inspired me to do a video, right? That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I see somebody make a video, it inspired me to make a video, right? And his video was a little different. It was about, it was, he was talking about, you know, the passport bro, you know, and, and how they are and the manosphere and stuff. And to be honest, I've been talking about this for years. I got several videos uh, talking about how men don't act like men, you know, and women. Because, you know, sometimes when I talk and I, I criticize or I give advice about women, woo, do they get sensitive. I'm telling you. They be like, hold up. I like you, Afro Think Tank. But you know what? That video, I don't like that video. And I understand that. You know, people, hey, you know, people got their own opinions, right? And, but, but, but today, what I'm going to do, because I feel exactly the same way. It's Pan-African Strikes Back, and I don't want anybody to get me, get me wrong, right? At the same time as you got some women, and keep in mind, I always say some. I never generalize everybody as the same thing. But there are some African-American women who have lofty expectations. It's not going to happen. Or they're too rough and too tough, and they act like men, and if they want to be masculine, they're not going to get a, a masculine. They're not going to get a masculine man because we don't want to compete with that. But, but that's not all. But for the rest, yo, African-American women are available. To you dudes, they're there. Look, African-American women are beautiful as shit. All right? African, and y'all know it. Y'all see what I be posting. I just posted a video highlighting African-American women. My wife is an African-American. I've been married 13 years. I've been with my wife for, I've been with her for 16, been married for 13. So that means I can speak because I can say, I have a successful marriage to back up the things that I say. My whole life, like just like Brandon, high school, man, I had all the women. I'm talking about all the women because I knew how to talk to them. I knew how to talk to them. I wasn't afraid. And I you know what I didn't do. I wasn't too pressed over them because my understanding is there's plenty of beautiful women out here. Plenty of beautiful. Everybody got the, all sorts of body parts. There's no need. To, to be drooling and lose your mind because when you do that, women is not attractive. You start to become a creep, right? All my female friends are fine. All of them. All of them. And anytime I'm with my female friends, all my homies are like, oh shit, you gotta be hitting that. You gotta be hitting that. What, you hitting that? I'm like, nah, that's just my homie. They don't understand because they can't even see themselves being friends with a woman that attractive because the whole time they just gonna, their, their motive will be, I gotta hit that. You know, but me, it's not like that. You know, first of all, I've been all around the world, so. I had my share, if you if you know what I mean, you know. But at the same time, man, we do have a situation where there's a lot of dudes, all right, a lot of dudes who have zero charisma, they have zero game, and nowadays, since people don't go out and do nothing no more, people don't go out and talk to each other in in, in public. Everybody is is text messaging and, and DM. Do you realize that you can't even have a real conversation through text message or DM because you cannot text? Uh, context you can't text context you ever text you ever text a girl right you was arguing with you said some stuff right and then she come back and she loses her whole goddamn mind because she because when she reads it she's gonna read it the way she's interpreted she's not gonna read it the way you said it because that's the problem with text messaging they don't, they don't they can't hear the tone of your voice they can't hear your intent right so we have a generation of people who don't know how to communicate they know how to text DM message, but they don't know how to communicate. They don't know, they don't know the art of conversation, you know? And the thing is, these beautiful ass African American women who are available and ready, you know, to be to, to be courted, they're out here waiting for men. They're waiting for men. And we got so many boys, all right? We got so many boys, grown boys who don't know how to be a man. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. All right, let's say you got a daughter, right? Let's say you got a daughter, your old man, you know, your daughter, you, you want your daughter to be taken care of by somebody. You want your daughter to find a husband that, you know, that's going to protect her because your job is to protect her. But you old now and you can't kick nobody ass. Right. So you want somebody that's going to be able to kick somebody ass on behalf of your or your daughter. Right. So let's say your daughter brings some pipsqueak ass, soft ass, sensitive, sensitive ass little boy to the house. Who get his get butt hurt every time your daughter say some shit they arguing because he's in his goddamn feelings you're not gonna want that man to be with your daughter 
You're not, because you can be like, man, he can't protect my daughter. If they out and about and somebody, somebody uh, challenge her, he ain't going to be able to do nothing. He's just going to get his ass whipped. You don't want that because that's not conducive to protecting your lineage going forward because your daughter is your investment in the future. So you want to make sure the man she ends up with can protect your investment, right? So if you wouldn't want your daughter to be with some punk ass, weak ass, lame ass little boy who don't know how to navigate socially throughout you know, throughout the world to protect and protrude and, 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 and ooze out strength so that people, when they see them, they're like, man, let me not, let me not, let me not fuck with, fuck with uh, her because dude look like, you know, he about their life. You know, you ain't going to be about it. So what makes you think a woman, right, is going to want some dude, what's going to make, what's going to make you, what's going to make you think that a woman is going to want some dude who's weak? They want a man. They want a man, you understand? A man, a real man, a man with balls, a man with charisma, a real man that can talk, a man that can that can that can uh, communicate well, a man that can create an environment to protect her, a man that can give her a sense of reassurance. Because the thing is, a woman's job, a female's job, a female's her whole motive is to find a man, that, a male that can protect her and her children at her most vulnerable moment. Period pregnancy you're talking about a year she out of the game right she needs somebody that's going to be able to protect her while she's in her most vulnerable state and then while she's raising our children you talk about uh 12 years you need somebody that's going to be able to protect her and them children and create a safe environment you know and give her the opportunity to raise that child so she needs a real man so until real men come along they're gonna just they're gonna be skipping they're gonna be skipping right past you they're not gonna give you a second look so men just need to learn how to be a man and don't go full retard. What I mean is some people, when they don't naturally have the skills, they overcompensate. And when they overcompensate, they, they do shit like uh, fresh and fit. All right. You got those two uh, two guys. They overcompensate their manliness because before they were they were the lames. Right. So they faked it until they made it. Right. But if you even look at this show, they overcomp they overcompensate their masculinity, which turns off women because it's just too much right it's too overbearing it's too much right but if you just cut back be natural be normal and just be a little bit more confident like when you step up in the room right it don't matter how big you are when you step up in the room you need to take all the air out the room that's what i do when i step in the room and it's not in a bad way when you step up in the room you need to take all the air out the room when you step up in the room and you walk in there, you need to be walking in that bitch like you got your own theme music. I swear, everywhere I walk, I swear to God, I got my own theme music. And I'm walking with a stride. You see how Denzel Washington walk? I used to watch Denzel Washington and I used to watch uh, The Rock. Look how they swag when they walk. The swag by itself will attract a woman. The swag by itself. So when I walk, I got a little combination of Denzel Washington and The Rock. That's my thing. That's how I do it. And it works every time because women see... They go, Ooh, huh? And then when a fine woman walk past me, I don't even give them a second look, right? Because they got that eight, sec eight step rule, right? They step eight steps, they turn around and look back. Nah, I don't do that, right? And if you don't do that, if you make yourself desirable, guess what? They will come, you understand? So that's all I got to say for now, guys. We're gonna talk more about this. I think this should be a topic. Uh, as Pan-African, you know, we gotta support each other in these topics, right? You know, no, none of us are alone here. So that's all I got to say for now, guys. Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach them. I'm out.